Welcome back to the new episode of Advanced Angular series. In this episode, we will be seeing how we can create Bootstrap for Carousel. Okay, so using Angular. So you can see the same structure what we get with Bootstrap Carousel. Okay, so we have this next and previous icon based on which we can shuffle the images. Otherwise, we have the bottom navigation also. From here also, we can do the navigation. But it needs jQuery okay so when we work with the angular we don't normally depends on the jquery okay so same whatever the functionality we have like on click of this icon on click of previous icon and on click of this navigation so same thing we have to achieve with using angular so the code is pretty simple this ul tag is for bottom navigation this and we have two icons anchor tag you can see for the previous icon and the next icon and one image source okay here you can see multiple image multiple images are there but since we are going to do it with the angular okay so at a time particular one image will be active so we don't have to maintain all the images and uh, shuffle to that so we just have to maintain one current image but it will look like that image is getting uh, images are getting shuffled okay so let's check our example so you can see in our example also we have next icon previous icon one more additional thing is like when we go to the last icon you can see the uh, next icon will be hidden okay and when we come to the first icon you can see first uh, no, previous icon is getting hidden plus the images are getting changed okay this also we have managed using angular only so let me show you the code so this is a component which i have created in HTML, you can see the basic concept, basic code we have. This is the UL tag, which is dynamic. Okay. This is the same UL tag we have here. Okay. Instead of the setting one, LI is getting dynamic. So that is using NG4. So item list is then array of images what we are getting. Okay. Here I am checking like item dot file file URL is equal to current photo. Current photo is the variable where we are storing our current image, what we have to display. If that is the uh, that is true then we are adding a class active okay and we have a function on set index because see if i click here i get to the first image so for that i have the image then one image image tag is there which is having input property source and the property is current photo okay then previous and the next item on this you can see on the previous icon go to previous event is getting called and we have ng chip ng if check to uh, to hide that if our first image is there so we cannot go to previous so that is the check for that and in the last next button we have a check for the check for the last image okay so let's see the code so first is the input because this is going to be a reusable kind of component so input we have taken which is having item so i have declared the interface at the bottom properties you can take anything just one property is uh, must needed that is url to store the image okay then current photo that will be string where we will be storing current photo okay i will explain this subscription afterwards just basic code i will explain it okay. so in on, on ng on init we are setting the current code current photo of zeroth element okay you can see this dot item list of zeroth and file url so whatever the first element we have in the array item list we are setting that then set index in set index you can see we have sent the item also set index we are calling from the navigation we have sent the item so from array we are finding that particular uh, image url then in current photo we are setting the image okay then go next in this again what we need to do we just need to trigger the next element right so we have find the current element then item list we have find the index then uh, it is just a check to check like if it is not uh, less than or greater than then we are assigning the current photo with the next item see next item index plus one we are getting the file url and next item we are storing in the again current photo okay same as it's like previous also we are minus we are in uh, we just have to select the previous item so minus one is there and again checking the uh, assigning the value to the current photo 
now extra functions just to hide and show the previous and the next button check for last image you can see if index is greater than length minus one same wise we are returning true and false and this is equal to zero means first image okay if the index is at the first uh, image means current let's say i'm checking like the current photo what we are showing is uh, from that array is the zero means uh, we are just finding the index of the particular photo from this array so if it is zero then we are returning false and else returning true okay so that is the basic thing the next thing is let me add a debugger and show you the things so here go next go next okay let's save Let's add debugger on ng on it also. Let's read all one more time. Okay. So you can see in item list we have got five array. File URLs are also there. You can see objects is file ID, file name, and the file URL. File URL is having images URL. Okay. So we are setting that file URL first that is la.jpg okay so in current photo currently it's undefined so we are assigning our current photo once you do that you, you can see our code is here okay so let me remove one code that is automatic interval I'm commenting this so that it won't call that on next function by default okay so when i click on next icon you see we go to the dot next current current item we have find its index index is zero okay so index is less than one uh, minus one so it is again going inside the if condition next item index plus one next item is chicago dot jpg again we are setting that to the current photo currently it is la next we have set chicago.jpg so you can see the next icon okay this is next icon let's see i want to go to the second mask so if i click on this navigation you can see current item i have got four like where i have selected so i'm just finding that from my particular object and then setting it to the file url we can minimize this also just to make the simplify code understandable i have done like this because ultimately we are getting the item so i can directly use the file url also okay i'm talking about this function i can directly use this also because we just need to set the value so this is not needed Click on the third one, you can see item dot file URL. I'm assigning that. That's it. Okay. Next thing is because in uh, normal bootstrap carousel, also we get the thing like we can uh, automate all the images. Okay. So for that, we are using interval of RxJS. You can see I have created a subscription. Okay. Created one function that is trigger interval. In that, I am storing interval three, three seconds. Okay. So source is nothing but constant source so we are uh, we have stored interval 3000 so after every source will help source will hold observable okay so after 3000 second it will emit so that we are holding here you can see source dot sub subscribe and inside that once we go once we got the subscribe we are calling our go next function okay so after every three second let me Now code will be pretty simpler. Let's add a debugger. So you can see after all the three seconds. In constructor, we have called this function so that this will get initialized. Okay. Let me save this.
in G1 in it. So see, we have got it. Then we have called the function again, again, okay. Again, after three seconds, it will fire. Okay. So that is that is why it is getting change automatically. That's it. So we get complete functionality what we have in the uh, Bootstrap for Carousel in Angular using basic uh, functions and the uh, just one thing from the interval that is from RxJS to auto rotate the images. That's it. Thank you.